Greetings my dear students. Our topic for today is helping others. You know, we should always help others. When we help others, it gives us great happiness and satisfaction. It also brings smile on the other person's face. Let us learn more about it through a song followed by a story. You all will listen to the song carefully and then follow me, okay? Let's start. Helping hands. When I see someone fall down, I will lift them up. If they're lying on the ground, I'll use my helping hands. Helping hands, helping one another. I'll do all I can with my helping hands. I hope you all have understood the tune. Now you all are going to sing along. Okay? When I see someone fall down, I will lift them up. If they are lying on the ground, I'll use my helping hands. Helping hands, helping one another. I'll do all I can with my helping hands. If my mommy is the cook and the baby is crying, I will read to him a book and use my helping hands. Helping hands, helping one another. I'll do all I can with my helping. If my daddy is alone working in the garden, I will help him weed and hope with my helping hands. Helping hands, helping one another. Let's do all we can with our helping hands. Hands should never hurt or fight or make someone unhappy. Do some good and make things right with your helping hands. Helping hands, helping one another. Let's do all we can with the helping hands. Helping hands, helping one another. Let's do all we can with the helping hands. Lovely song, no? Hope you all have enjoyed this song. Now you will learn and present this song in a creative manner and post it in your group. Now it's story time children. Enjoy the story. Thank you. John and Chris were brothers who lived in the same house, but their hearts and minds were completely opposite. John enjoyed life to the fullest. He was only concerned about his happiness and never cared about other people. Whereas Chris was generous and kind at heart. He liked to help people. Everyone, including his friends and teachers, appreciated him for his helpful nature. It was summer vacation. The two brothers decided to go trekking with their friends. Both of them enjoyed the first day of their trek. Unfortunately, the two lost way on the second day. John took a different route in the woods and Chris followed him. A little later, John and Chris lost track of each other as well. On the way, John came across an old woman who begged him for food. He refused outright to share his food with her. Later, he met a little boy who had hurt his leg. He asked him to help get back to his village. Again, John refused any help and continued his way. Though Chris had lost sight of John, he was actually following the same path. And so, he met the same old woman. He offered her all the food he had. Next, he met the boy who was hurt. Chris offered him some water, helped him stand up and offered his support to help him get back 
to his village. The boy's parents asked Chris to spend the night at their place. They also promised to help find his brother and friends the next day. Chris agreed happily. On the other hand, John was lost in the forest and had no one around to ask help for. He was now feeling scared of the dark reflections and strange voices in the forest. He started feeling cold and lonely. He wished he could find some help. Fortunately, he came across the same old woman again. Please help me. I am lost. I cannot even find my brother. Have you seen him somewhere? Of course. I had met that sweet child. But why should I help you? Did you help me when I needed you? Now, get lost. As he moved on, he saw some lights flashing downside. It looked like a village. John felt relieved and started running towards the lights. In his rush, he fell down and hurt himself, but somehow managed to reach the village. Exactly at the entrance, he met the same boy who had asked him for help in the forest. John told him that he was lost and needed a shelter to spend the night. But the boy was angry. You don't deserve any help. Try a tree. Spend the night under it. John spent the night in pain and cold, crying all night. He had realized his mistake. At dawn, he heard a familiar voice calling out his name. It was Chris and the little boy. John rushed towards them and hugged his brother. Thank God I found you. I have now realized the importance of helping others. John was a changed person from then.